Hi, everybody. That's Allie. And that is Dash. Welcome to our play date. Where we choose a game, sometimes make up our own rules, and play for a while. Enjoy listening and playing along. Or don't. We can't hear you. It's a podcast. Ask if you can pet it. Yes. But. Always ask if you can pet somebody's pet. Always. And people have said no, and I yeah, appreciate that. I respect that, that. Because they, you know, they know their animal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, she's not friendly. Although you, you know never ask friendly. to pet a cat because a cat lets you know. Yes. Like a cat will come over to you and be like, excuse me, I'm here. You know why though, right? Because for a dog, the owner gives permission. For a cat, the cat gives permission to the owner to correct. allow you to pet it. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah. The cat lets you know whether or not you can pet its owner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen that meme that's like, oh, I had to prepare for like a month to get my house ready for a dog, but a cat owner is always like, ah, I found him in the trash. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I just found him in the trash. Yeah. And dogs like have to go through this ridiculous adoption process, but cats are just like, excuse me, I live here now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Which is exactly how my cat was. <laughs> yeah. That's how you got her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mine were adopted, but they were adopted from strays right so yeah. Yeah. yeah so they walked into somebody else's home well they then- <laughs> walked into someone's or they were born in someone's backyard got it yeah dory and i know his his origin story a little more than okay Nuku. Uh, <laughs> i like nuku's nickname better than his actual name <laughs> uh, we didn't name him i know that's but why, my, ne- yeah. my nephew couldn't pronounce euclid uh-huh. and so he called him nukuid <laughs> and i was like that is first of all that's the cutest thing i've ever heard uh-huh. and then i was like Nukuid is a lot, but Nuku uh-huh. is really cute. And yeah. it, I also, I mean, because this is what you do with pets, right? You like, hey, little ghosties. Hi. We're doing an episode <laughs> and I'm talking about my pets. We should put, po- can we post pictures of our pets? Yeah, in absolutely. This one? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to send you some. That's what we should do. It's like pictures of our pets posing the way we would normally pose. Oh my God. Yeah. I give, I live. Um. Okay. So what was <laughs> I talking about? Nuku. Uh-huh. So we call him Euclid. Mm-hmm. Or his name is Euclid, but we call him Nuku, and it rhymes with so many other things. Ah. So I say Nuku is really cute. Okay. Like he's cute. I say Nuku took a duku when he goes <laughs> poo. Um, I say Nuku's going to duku whatever he wants to duku. So mm-hmm. it's like a whole language that's okay. evolved around this weird nickname of house. my cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then Dorian, I say he's a doughy bull. Because I call him Doey. Doey. Yeah. yeah. We never call pets by their actual no, names. No, never. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I never call my cat by her actual name. Yeah, what do you call her? <laughs> uh, well, Minnie's her name, her official right. name. Uh, but I, my mom calls her like Mininga, Miringa, uh, Minila. Uh, I call her Mama. Or mm-hmm. like when I'm talking to my dad, I call her La Nina. Like mm-hmm. she's the girl of the house. Mm-hmm. Um. Like, oh, ¿dónde está la niña? Where's the girl? Yeah. Like that, yeah. yeah. So. I just realized we're wearing different shirts. Whoops. Are we? Oh, okay. So you wore the wrong shirt. There's a well. glitch in the Matrix. A- <laughs> I walked out of my house in this shirt and I said, this is incorrect. <laughs> and that's I mean, fine. Yeah, that's fine. But I was also like, you know what? Dash is going to notice because he lives <laughs> at the recording studio. Uh-huh. <laughs> And we'll notice I'm wearing a different shirt and just adapt. And right. you didn't. I didn't see it. There's no. 100% a glitch in the Matrix. Because they're both the same color. That's why. There is like, a a big glitch. Yeah. Our came to game t-shirts are different colors. Like they're the burgundy and the blue. Mm-hmm. So it's easier to notice. But our the Playdate logo and the cartoon shirts are both the same color. Okay. Well, you're letting the people down. I am. I'm so sorry. All right. Let's play the game. And today we are playing uh, Table Topics Pets. Want to tell us a little bit more about it? This uh, game was gifted to me uh, by my good friend Tiffany, who supports my game habit. I also support her game habit. Uh Um, And this is a very tiny print game (laughs) um, from Ultra Pro International LLC, all rights reserved, apparently. <laughs> and basically, oh, I got it. Yeah. Um, you can go to at Table Topics Inc. on Instagram. So it's Table Topics is the okay is the brand. Is I actually brand, yeah. I have a, a brand of uh, of cards called Table Topics, and it comes in a cube. Yeah. 
for uh, conversation starters in case I ever have anyone over in my apartment, yeah. which I never do. But. I'm guessing that these are just a, mm -hmm. a subset of that. Yeah, probably. Cool. Yeah, it's a very cool. So we'll just pick them out and have conversations. Sure, sounds for, good. For the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Ooh, these cards are thick. They're thick. Yeah, these are thick cards. Yeah, you got to pay extra for that. Uh, so you have to answer this, I guess, if uh, you're as if you're, you're the pet. So what's a favorite memory of your first pet? Oh, no. It's, okay. So what's your favorite memory of your first pet? Oh, did you want me to be my first I pet thought it and was, recite yeah. it to you? Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> um, My first pet that I can actually remember, mm -hmm. I had a cat named Siddhartha growing up and a dog. Um, Siddhartha? Siddhartha. Yes. Okay. My mom was reading the book when she got the cat. Got it. And I had a dog named Lobo. Um, Aww. But my favorite kind of pet story when I was a kid is that my grandparents had a dog named Bo. I think it was a big black lab. Okay. And That's a great name. And I learned to walk by like holding onto his Aww. his back. And I would like stand up and hold onto his back and like toddle around the house. Aww. I don't remember it, but I'm going to pretend like I do because <laughs> what a cute story. Uh, so I didn't have... So I don't. So it doesn't count really as my first pet, because my first pet is Minnie. Um, but uh, my parents had a pet when they left Cuba, and when I was born, the pet was still around. When I went back to Cuba as a toddler, the dog was still around, and her name was Motika. Um, and she was. I have pictures plot twist of for a dog not being named Lobo or Ring Ting Ting. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh yeah, Motika. She was she was so nice just from all the pictures I saw, but she was like obsessed with me. Like every picture that we have of me in Cuba, the dog is a foot or two behind me somewhere watching over me. What kind of dog was that? It was I mean it's a it's one of those like Cuban mixed breed street. Like they don't have pure it's a street pets. dog. It's, That's yeah. fine. It was a, uh, you know, long coat. Shag. It looked like a cross between maybe a golden retriever and a labrador but smaller. Okay. It was like that. Um Super cute dog. Super cute dog. Um, but yeah, obsessed with me. Sounds like it was just a Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> no, it didn't have the Cocker Spaniel ears. Okay. Not the ears. She had the the like Labrador. Pointy ears. ears. Yeah. Okay. Um, like the fox, the foxy type ears. You know which ones I'm talking That's about? It's not the ears that labs have, but anyway. Okay. Um <laughs> she had like the corgi ears, the yeah. satellite dish ears. Okay. Yeah. Um but, uh, okay, so my favorite memory with Minnie is that when we first got her, she would, um, my my dad didn't want her to be inside the house because he wasn't a pets guy. And yeah, he course. definitely wasn't a cat guy. Dads are always, I'm not a pet guy. <laughs> and then they are always the ones to mm -hmm. fall the hardest yeah, for the pet. Absolutely. Yeah. So she... Uh, you know, she we found her because she crawled out from under my car or whatever, and then I put her in the backyard. So she yeah, she's your pandemic her. baby. She's my pandemic baby, and so we would keep her in the backyard, and she would just stay back there. She wouldn't go anywhere. Finally, I got her one of those cat towers, right, and put mm -hmm. it right by the back door so that she could like sit on it and look inside the house and see that we were still there and whatever. Um, but every single morning. When I would first thing in the morning go up and open the blinds to the outside, she would be right there on her cat tower with her little paws up against the window, just waiting for us to uh, go outside and play with her. Just adorable. That's so cute. Yeah. I have pictures of it. Yeah. I love my little mini, even though she hates me. Yeah. She's <laughs> just a cat. She's a cat. Yeah. Um. Which of your pet's traits most closely resemble human behaviors? Ooh. Okay. Uh, My cat's talk. Yeah. I had a whole conversation yeah, yeah. with Dorian today about dinner. Mm -hmm. um, I had a whole conversation. I have whole conversations with Euclid. Every time I get home from work, he's upset with me that I left him all day. Mm -hmm. One time I was singing some song, humming some song in my house. And I stopped and Nuka was right by me. And he, I'm telling you, Ruben heard it also. <laughs> he hummed the same song. It was not me hallucinating. Another human being heard it. It was <laughs> real. I was like, doo, doo, doo. And Nuka was like, wah, wah, wah. like, I swear to you. Mm. Wild. Yeah. So my cats can, can sing and talk. Mm. 
fascinating. Yeah. I believe you. I've heard your cat make noises. Well, and I, I watched YouTube videos about it, so obviously it's real. <laughs> but um, <laughs> cats can sort of mimic human sounds, hmm. right? Well, so, yeah, because they mimic a baby exactly. crying. Right, That's, right, right. Yeah. So it was that. He was like mimicking Interesting. the song I was singing. Interesting. Uh, my cat can tell time. But can't read, can't a, read clock. a clock. But can tell time. <laughs> and she knows when it's time to get up. She knows when it's time to feed. Even though, like, like she'll start like, hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, it's time to it's time to go. And we'll look at our clock and it will be, oh wow, it is it's dinner time for her. I <laughs> at five, and I remember because I was on my computer at the time looking at it at five. 14 mm -hmm. dorian got onto the kitchen counter and was like crying like he had <laughs> never eaten in his life this child is so dramatic <laughs> and that's what i we were having a conversation about it today uh-huh dorian and i yeah <laughs> we're having a conversation i was like sir excuse me you have fi 15 minutes left until it's dinner time and he's uh -huh. like uh -huh. <laughs> I can see the bottom of my bowl. <laughs> well, we feed them wet food once a day. So okay. it was like wet food time. Oh, it was wet food And then food they time. have dry food. All day long. They have one scoop of dry food and they can eat it as much or as little as they want in mm. the day. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. <laughs> Cats. Uh, would you adopt a family member's pet if they were no longer able to care for it? Yes. 100%. Yeah. So would yeah, I. 100%. Of course. Yeah. I can even think of the ones I would adopt. Yeah, I totally my uh, my cousins have a husky who is absolutely beautiful and also one of the most well behaved dogs I've ever met. Yeah, like just so calm. I mean, if I had my way, I would adopt every animal. Yeah, <laughs> not you know, not stealing it from uh -huh. other people, but right. I would adopt every animal that needs a home. Yeah, but yeah. I am. <laughs> I live in a small place in Miami, uh -huh. and I'm not a rich person, Correct. so I don't do that. But if I could, <laughs> I would adopt every animal everywhere, always. Yeah. I'm not allowed to have pets in this apartment, so I can't do that. But And I can only sneak so many animals past my parents. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to sneak a rooster by them the other day. They were not having No, it. not so much. My dad hates roosters because they wake him up in the morning. You could put a snake in your sleeve. <laughs> hide in the house. These cars are thick. I keep thinking it's more than one yeah, card, but right. it's not. They're thick with two C's. Um, what is the longest period of time you've had a pet? Uh, so Minnie was again my first pet, and she was my pandemic baby. So I have had her since June-ish of 2000. Uh, mine would be Mr. Lancelot Bubba Pooter Van Cooter. That's right. Who I had for 17 years, mm -hmm. um, and it's almost been a year since he passed. So, yeah, we were together for really, he really watched me grow up. Yeah. Like, we we yeah. really grew up uh, together. And you had he, him his whole life, right? You had him as, like, right when he was born. Yeah, yeah. he peed on me at about <laughs> six weeks old, and I knew. Yeah. I knew this. That's how you know. That's yeah, how you he know. he peed right on me, and I said, well, I guess he's mine. Yeah. And uh, a couple of weeks later, I got him, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Ooh, if your pet harmed a child or another pet, what would you do? I mean, harm is hard, yeah. right? Because, yeah. like, dogs nip at kids mm -hmm. all the time. Because yeah. kids play rough with them, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, there may be, like, a little scratch or something like that. Um, but you can also understand why the dog did that, and I think there's an opportunity mm -hmm. to have a conversation there with the kid about, Hey, you know how you don't like it if, you know, someone pushes you or yeah. whatever. Well, it's the same with dog. Like, I think there's opportunity for conversation there. I think that's a hard what if to, yeah. you don't really know. Mm -hmm. um, I would immediately wash out my pet's mouth. I wouldn't want it to get dirty, dirty from yeah. biting a child. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it depends. Yeah. I think it depends. Mm -hmm. um, and I would hope that. Everyone was just on their best behavior all the time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's I hope what so I would too. Hope. I hope so too. Yeah. Um, what was your first pet? I mean, Minnie. <laughs> I think the first pet I picked out. Okay. 
was probably yeah, you've always you've had more pets than I have. Obviously, I've had so you've many had, pets. yeah, you've had pets since you were a I, kid. Yeah, yeah. We we had uh, a dog growing up. Uh, mm-hmm. My dad uh, had a dog when my parents got married. My cat, my sister, uh, my mom had a cat when my parents got married. Um, growing up, I had gerbils. I had fish. Mm. We had a, a family dog. Um, I've had uh, Lancelot, and now I have my two cats Mm -hmm. um but i think the first animal i actually like picked out was a fish i Mm. i think we we wanted to do an aquarium in the house and i remember going to the pet store and actually picking out like that's the kind of fish that i want okay yeah did you name the fish i don't think i did no i didn't name it okay Mm -mm. what kind of fish was it i couldn't i had two of the same fish angelfish okay Ooh, Um, angelfish yeah they were really cool yeah um we went away to vacation and the water got too hot and they all boiled to death. It's fine. Um, wow. <laughs> Teachable moments. <laughs> oh, no. Is there anything that would cause you to rehome a pet? Is there anything that would cause you to rehome yeah, a pet? Yeah, if I was not capable of taking care of the pet. Okay. You know. If, like, because it's better for the pet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, if something happened to me where I was, mm-hmm. you know, not able to take it outside, if it was a dog right. or Knock on wood. change the water or whatever, I would, I would rehome it. Got it. Um, that's actually a great answer. And I don't think that's because a lot of times we think of like what terrible thing would happen that we wouldn't want to take care of the pet anymore. But it's more of like a, I want this pet to be better than what I can give it. Mm-hmm. It's breaking up with someone because uh, you think they're too good for you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, animals are just by nature too good for us anyway. Mm-hmm. No. We we do not deserve them. Oh, no, absolutely not. Except for cats. <laughs> we deserve all the pain that they give us. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one or two more. We deserve the wrath of yeah, cats. Yeah, we deserve the wrath of cats. We treated them like gods for way too long and they just let it go to their heads. Well, listen, I have two. <laughs> one... I look at them and I'm like, you're so beautiful. Like, I completely understand why you were worshipped. Mm-hmm. And the other one is just like, <laughs> like, just crouching, just like sitting with his legs wide open. He's, they're so funny. Okay. <laughs> um, has a pet's passing ever affected you in a surprising way? Have you ever had a pet pass? Uh, No, not yet. Well, I mean, you know, Lancelot. Yeah. You know, we were close. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, we had to put our cat down when I was growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the family dog we had died when I was in college. I wasn't living in the house at the time. Um, so I wasn't really around for that, but I, no. you know, I missed them and I wished I had, I had been there. Um, but yeah, Lancelot's passing was like it was really hard. It still no. is. Like I'm not even gonna lie about it. It's yeah. it's been almost a year, and it's still really hard sometimes. Like I still want to pet every single dog, but my heart is not ready. Yeah, my heart's not ready for another dog. Sure. Yeah, I get that. It may yeah. not. And it may not be ready for a while. Yeah. Some people are ready right away. I'm just. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get that. I've had um, I've had girlfriends pet. Well, like. Never pass away while I was with them. Uh, oh, that's so, a selling point. You got to say that right, in yeah. your dating profile. <laughs> so I've had girlfriends' <laughs> pets pass away. I know because if I say that they've passed away after we broke up, that sounds ominous. Well, okay. Yeah. Fair. Um, I, I had one girlfriend whose pet bird unfortunately passed away while we were dating um, in an unfortunate accident. Um, but, uh, I made him a little tombstone. It's the best way I could deal with. Yeah. I just made it out of, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, pa- plaster of Paris. Mm. And I made a mold and I made a little thing and yeah, little, little birdie tombstone. So when she buried him, she could put a, the rock sure. over it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but like the other one, like, you know, all the dogs and stuff that my girlfriends have had have not passed away until after we've broken up so i've never even gotten like secondhand i think the closest thing is you know like lancelot who yeah. like we're still friends and you know we're close so i was close with him yeah. and i mean you knew him for 10 years so yeah. You, well yeah 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 so I was yeah thinking, yeah yeah i've known him for a very long time yeah yeah so yeah that was you know, probably the closest thing to having a pet pass and i mean and i was there with you the whole time like in the end so 
Um, yeah. 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 Oh, happy, oh, happy. That's a bummer of a question. I know. Happy. Got to do another one now. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's end it on this one because okay. this one's a happy one. Which of your pets' names was your favorite? Which of your pets' names were your favorite? Oh, it's hard. I mean, it's hard. <laughs> mm-hmm. Siddhartha is a cool name for a Siddhartha's cat. Siddhartha is a very it's cool a, name. I didn't pick it. Yeah. Um. But the two pets that I have named, they're both literary references sure because i'm a big big nerd so i feel like they're just they're they're just good names i can't pick Mm -hmm. which one i like more although i will say i am notorious for giving a pet a three syllable name when really the perfect pet name is two syllables and so i give them a three syllable pet name and never Never call call them them (laughs) by that name And I should have just gone with something that's mm-hmm. two syllables. Sure. Lancelot, I called Bubba the whole time. Yeah. Lancelot, Bubba. L- Lancelot can be two syllables. Lancelot. Lancelot, no. <laughs> uh, with an apostrophe? No. Yeah. And then Dorian, I call like Doey. Doey, yeah. Yeah. And Minnie's Minnie. Or, yeah. yeah, Minnie. I mean, Minnie, perfect Minnie cat a name. perfect name. It's yeah. a perfect pet name. Two yeah. syllables, uh, two vowels. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I call her baby kitty. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> Baby Kitty. I have like a little song that I sing to her that she hates. Oh, I sing to my cat. Oh, yeah. Time. All the time. Yeah. Uh, my, <laughs> you know the song Love Today by Gautier? I think is so. It, wait, is it Gautier? No. No. That was, Gautier is, um. It, his name is Mika. I sorry. I used to know. Yeah. That's no. It, so it's, <laughs> it's called Love Today by a guy named Mika. Uh-huh. And I sing that to my cat Euclid all the time, except <laughs> I put his name in the song. Uh-huh. And I think he hates me. How does it go? Um, the song is like, everybody's going to love today, going to love today, going to love today. Okay. Every- Can we, are we going to pay for that? I don't think no. anybody is yeah, so- <laughs> going to charge us for that rendition of it. Um, I was like, any way you want to, any way you got to. Okay, but how do you fit Euclid's me? name in there? So I go, um, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I'm like, any way you need Anyway, you do goo, new gooey, new gooey, new goo. Everybody loves new gooey, loves new gooey, loves new gooey. I think that is a perfect place to end this show, this episode. Yes. Fantastic. Please, please, please send us the songs of you singing to your animal. Yes, please. I know I yes. am not, I know we are not the only ones yes. who chain song lyrics. To put our cats uh-huh. and animals' Absolutely names in them. Yeah. Please send them to us. It's all I want in this world. <laughs> uh, so we already talked about the cards are thick. Thick. The cards are thick boys. Thick, thick boys. We yeah. love a thick boy card. We love a thick boy card. And on the back, it's got a little... Uh, it's a, got a bird, a cat, a hamster, and a dog. Yeah. They're little icons that are very cute. Yeah. The art's good. Uh-huh. They're they're kind of square looking pets, so they're mm-hmm. really cute. I like that. Yeah, to match um, with the square cards. They're real. They come in this like real tiny square mm-hmm. box. Yeah, throw it in a bag. And, throw it in a purse. Uh, yeah, take you it could with you. Very easily just toss it in, you know, a card. Mm-hmm. Play it on a road trip yeah. or whatever. Not if you're driving. Not if you're driving, obviously. <laughs> uh, you know, toss it in a suitcase if yeah. you're going to do like a girls' weekend or guys' weekend or friends' weekend, or whatever weekend. Yeah. Um, and who? Everyone I know who has pets only wants to talk about them. <laughs> so, like, imagine the joy you could unleash in someone's mm-hmm. life if you're like, "Hey, I got a whole thing of questions about pets. Yeah, do you want to talk, talk about, about your pets? pets?" Yeah. And everyone is going to say yes. Yeah. And if you're not a pet person. Watching people talk about their pets and seeing their joy has got to make you feel something. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. Gotta, and also, I knew a staunch no pet person, and guess what happened? What? They got a dog, and they are obsessed. <laughs> so. Yeah. Have your pets spayed and neutered, everybody. <laughs> Help control the pet population. <laughs> Adopt, don't shop. Yeah. And. Pet your pets today. Yeah, pet your pets and tell them. Tell them we say, <laughs> and they're good boy, good boy, good boy. Even if they're girls, good boy, good boy, good girl. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll catch you next time, little ghosties. Bye. Bye. 
Thanks for listening, everyone. Now we'd love to hear from you. You can visit playdatepod.us to watch our videos, access our episode library, find out more about our brand of quality, clean comedy, and contact us with any questions or comments. Improvisers love audience suggestions, so make sure you visit playdatepod.us. And the podcast you just heard was a production of Society Circus Players. If you like what you heard today, please rate, review, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And finally, if life's a circus, we're, we're the, the clowns. clowns. Recording, recording on the phone has commenced. Recording on the recorder has also commenced. <laughs> Let the recording begin. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Dash and Allie have begun recording. <laughs>